What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own website for free using a website called Weebly. Now there are a bunch of different ways you can make websites. I know personally that I'm uh, more accustomed to using WordPress to make my websites, which is another platform, but in this tutorial we're going to be covering how to make websites with Weebly, because Weebly is very simple to use, and if you're a beginner it's very easy to get into it and learn how to make websites through there, and then from later on you can actually advance and use more complex platforms or even learn to code yourself. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go on Weebly.com and then just sign up for an account. So I'm going to go ahead and make an account for myself and just sign up and click on get started. Now once you've signed up, you're going to be redirected to this page where basically Weebly is going to walk you through and find a theme for your website. So just answer the questions it's asking you. So in this case, I'm creating a site. That's the focus of my site. And from there, you're going to see a bunch of themes which you can use that are already pre-made. So I'm going to go find a theme for my site and find one that I like. So I found this theme called Brisk that I really like. So I'm going to go ahead and select the color of it. I'm going to make it purple because that is the Zyogo color and then click on choose. Now, once you pick your theme, you're going to go ahead and go to the actual Weebly website editor. So the first thing you have to do is select a domain for your website. So you can either register a new .com domain, which costs money or connect a domain you already own. But if you don't have a domain or don't want to spend any money, you can always just use a subdomain, which is going to give you a .weebly.com domain. So I'm going to create zyogo.weebly.com, which thankfully is available, and then click on continue. Now from here, Weebly is going to walk you through a little tutorial. So this is kind of tutorial section, but you don't have to watch it. You can just exit out. All right. Now using Weebly is very, very simple. On the left side of the website designer, you have all the elements you can add to your website. So I could add a slideshow, an image, a text. I also have a bunch of different options over here, which I can just, you know, use by scrolling through and say I wanted to add a, you know, image, for example, I just have to drag it and I can add the element and it'll automatically be added to the actual website, which is very simple. Now to actually edit these elements, just click on the elements on the website. So if I want to change the headline, I would just click on the headline and I would put on welcome to my website like so. There we go. We have added a headline to the website. Now to change the site title, I would just click on it. And as you can see, there's other options available. So maybe I wanted to add a logo. I could just click on logo and then I can upload a photo from my computer. And from there, I can just upload my profile picture maybe. You know, put in my profile picture and it should load up and there we go. So Weebly is very simple to use. All you have to do is drag and drop elements and then click on them to edit them. And as you can see, you have all the options available straight from the actual element. So it pops out and you can edit everything from there. So we're going to go ahead and add some more stuff to the site. So I'm going to just put, you know, like, what's up guys, I over here as the title and put, you know, this is my website where you can learn more about me. There we go. And I could add something to the button. So to edit the button, I would just click on it and then I could put subscribe like so, go to link and I could link it to my YouTube channel. And as you can see, everything is so straightforward. So I would just do that. Maybe make it open in a new window, click save. And there we go. Now maybe for my image over here, I can go ahead and upload maybe my YouTube banner. <laughs> We're just experimenting here, so I'm going to go ahead and just select my banner and have that upload. And there we go, my banner is now on the website. If I click on it, I will have all of the options available. I can edit the image, I could click on that, and then I could actually crop it because you see all of this, you know, leftover space. I could maybe crop it by clicking on the crop tool and then do it so that you just see the actual, you know, text part of the banner. Click on OK, click Save, and we're good. Now you can add some other elements as well. You could add a slideshow, you could add a map. We can also add a contact form, so I can go ahead and just drag on the contact form. You guys are getting the hang of it now. And then just click on it to edit it. So I'm going to go ahead and put Contact Me. And as you can see, the text options are here. And the form options are here, so I'll just click on Form Options. And from the form options, I can actually just edit everything one by one, like so. You know, 
is this required? What instructions I want to put over here? What it should say? And everything is just really easy to edit. So yeah, from this uh, left bar, you can add in everything you want. You can add in your images. You can add in dividers. You can add in spacers, a button, video, audio, other media elements. You could add videos straight from YouTube. You could add products as well. And once you have everything added, you could just publish your site. Now, if you want to change the design of your website, you can go ahead and click on design. And from here, you can just select the theme of your website. So like I said, you could change it by going to change theme. You can also change fonts and change the backgrounds. And if you know how to code, you can directly edit the code as well by clicking on edit HTML slash CSS. Now underneath the pages tab, you can actually change the pages as well. So for example, if I want to add more pages, I would just go to add and I could maybe add a external link page. And then I could name this YouTube and have it link to my YouTube channel and have it open in a new tab and then just click save and edit and it'll be saved and as you can see the YouTube page has appeared so these are the other pages I currently have and I could edit those as well and if I click on the YouTube one it'll actually lead me to my website which is youtube.com slash iovo now if you are going to be running an e-commerce store and actually selling goods there's also a store tab in which you can add, it, add products to your website as well the whole panel is built in which is amazing and then finally under the settings tab you have your settings, so you can change your site address, site title. The site title is which is uh, is the title that's going to appear on the actual tab. And you can add a site password if you want. And do everything else underneath here. You could add some SEO, so like tags, kind of like YouTube tags, so people can find it in the search. You can edit people that can edit the website, add members, and control the store and blog as well. Now once you have your site built, what you need to do is just publish it and select the domain you're going to use click continue and your site is going to be published once you select it so i'm going to make it a personal website click continue and it's going to publish after i put in the verification code and there we go now if we go on uh, zyovo.weebly.com it's actually going to lo uh, load up my website my quote unquote website <laughs> as you can see it's very nice i can click on youtube and it goes straight to my youtube channel i could also click on server subscribe blah, blah, blah. I could also click on subscribe and it'll take me to my channel as well. But yeah, as you can see, Weebly is very simple to use, which is why I showed it to you guys. You know, everything is just straightforward and you don't have to worry about going to some crazy settings. You just click on something and boom, you can change it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.